can't hear you. You can't hear me? I, I can't hear me. I don't know if you exist. That fart, it, it gets more cartoonish and outlandish, outlandish every time outlandish? I hear it. Outlandish? Outlandish. Atlantis. You guys didn't let me do my Romeo and Juliet fart song from last time. Well, then why don't you do oh, it right my. now? If okay. Like to start great out with it. way to start out. What is a fart? Have you been thinking about this? Writing it the you, whole time? Be, you better believe it. <laughs> what is a fart? A turd implied. I have a quick what question. <laughs> Let me get through this. I've raised my hand. Yes. O'Neal. Uh, O'Neal. What, what song is this? What is a youth from the Romeo and Juliet movie we all were forced to watch? I don't I have no idea what you're talking about. It was their famous song. They, that was a musical? No, they just had that song in there. Okay, oh, you're talking about a it. soundtrack song? Yeah, the, the minstrel plays it at the banquet. The minstrel? Yep. Is that the Zeffirelli movie? I think so, yeah. The 69? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. They do 69 in it. <laughs> they, yeah, in the, the deleted oh, DVD. Oh, art thou Romeo 69 thy pussy is. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> now let me wow you with this. What is a fart? A turd implied. Can I what have a quick is I have another a turd? I'm powering through. Soil from inside. <laughs> the smell goes on. This is a fart will stink and then will fade. You have to wait until. As does <laughs> a queef. But not a fart that spray. You cannot open with this <laughs> type not? of tomfoolery. Why not, man? Gotta open up with something that grabs them. Headlines of the day. So I changed it to belch when I sing it in front of Winnie. I don't say queef. I like how this, because I have a child-friendly version. And she loves it so much, you she wrote down it. all the lyrics for me. Dude. Are you, you, does that make you happy? It made me so happy. She spent the entire time listening to me singing it, and then she goes, Dada, I wrote down all the lyrics for you for Beach Cop, so you don't forget. And there's a special <laughs> note for you on the back. I turned it over, and it just said, fart in huge letters. Do you have... Uh, it sadder. That's not sad! It rules! <laughs> okay, all right. Do you have different... Like, do, is there another demo that you go even further with? You're like, we don't do fart, we do fuck it. For a grandparent. I said queef on this one. I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, oh, how edgy. <laughs> what do you say for the kids? Pussy farts. I say belch. Oh, pussy belch? Are you going to say Are you going to tour this to local elementary schools? No, I am not. Also, I tried sending it to, because I made a recording of myself singing it. So how much time did you invest into this? <laughs> a buy, whole day? Did you rent the studio? Just a few hours. A whole day. Like two hours, okay? To, what part of the day? It was the nighttime. Okay, it was so the not the evening. meatiest part. It was of the right day. before dinner. Did this interfere with your shits <laughs> and your jizzing? <laughs> I didn't I'm see no this. I'm no fap right now. I didn't see this on your it. blog. No fap? Yeah. Wow. I, I didn't see it on your me. blog. I don't do the blog anymore. I saw okay. you've been posting blog even on a different site. <laughs> what is the <this> site <laughs> called, Odeo? Andrew is up to something. Shits and jerks and <laughs> Andrew's up to something. Here's what he's up to. It's called Shits and Jizzles. Shits and Jizzles. That's a great name. <laughs> this guy's got classic names. <laughs> that's uh, that's a Shits and Jizzles name. For you guys should have a it. name off. See who comes up with the better names. <laughs> Uh, Riley's doing his taxes. He said, take it easy on him. <laughs> this guy better hurry up. Yeah. You what gotta, the fuck? You got to get going. Oh, no, Riley. never mind. He's got four days. Yeah, you got four days. What, so if, he's got a, what if he's got a problem that he encounters? If there's What's a problem? the problem? My calculator broke. What am I going to do? <laughs> Who knows? Uh-oh. I've run out of number two pencils. That's the main issue, <laughs> is they do it on Scantron. <laughs> Well, maybe you're writing it out and you just want to take a, a dry run. There was this guy named Jimmy at our high school who heard that if you put chapstick on the Scantron part of it, like on the side, you it'll know. go all the way through and give you 100%. <laughs> yeah, the, the old chapstick. So, he, so he's just handing in chapstick so covered Scantron? Chapstick all uh, over his fucking Did test. he even fill his out? Yeah, he filled his out, like randomly, and then rubbed. And he goes, I'm going to get a fucking 100 What, did he get this. 20 no, he got a zero because like they <laughs> no, were like they couldn't were, even read it. Covered this. In, I'm not sticking this in the machine. Who told him this? <laughs> they covered it in chapstick. Who told him this? Two other people had to redo their test because they got um, grease from Jimmy's fucking chapstick. What? Sure. What kind of? Yeah. It, you should have told him it's not chapstick, dude. You got to use motor oil. That's true. Or Vaseline. He would have kept yep. it in there. Juice it up. I'd really juice it up with that Vaseline. So this dude. idiot's just sitting there with a thing of chapstick, going up and down, He's up like, and you guys down. You guys are fucking suckers. I can get a hundred percent. 
<laughs> it was he giggling while he's doing oh, it? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, you should have told him dog shit works the best. <laughs> Why would I say you that? You could have given him some from your own. Because I've got yeah. dog did shit it, in my did, did you have it back then? When did it start? <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I brought enough dog shit to share with everyone. <laughs> okay. Andrew, what do you got? In, uh, I'm going to have to read this you do dog it between shit. the cheeks. You go, hey, put that scantron between my cheeks. So do you like to dip the dog shit in a little bit of cum, get a little bit soggy, then, right. then eat it? You've, you uh, lost a lot. You went too hard too fast. There's right. nowhere to go from here. Ploobs right. wants uh, scantron secrets revealed episode. Ooh. Oh, that's a good idea. Dude. Here's, get, a, here's another, Jimmy on the phone. Another interesting secret to get a good grade on a Scantron. Another little uh, hack. What? Study for the test. <laughs> All right. Aaron liked it. Pay attention in school. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how Aaron did it. Fucking, like, when did you become it. a nerd, O'Neill? <laughs> I heard if you say that's one way. I never tried it. I heard if you rub it on your head like a balloon, the friction, and then stick it to the ceiling, and then they can't find it, (laughs) and then it falls down. Dude, there's a ton of static electricity in our apartment the other day. I felt (laughs) maybe you're over a static zone. Maybe, dude. I felt it all over my belly, and then. We, you guys may have electrical power. Your family, because you remember your dude. daughter did that thing where you had powers of ESP. Oh, this yeah. This may be related. I've never met a family with more problems. <laughs> you mean more powers? <laughs> yeah, okay. that's, that's what he meant to say. Dude, are you built over a uh, static electricity hot zone? Uh, yeah, over a vortex, a static electricity <laughs> vortex. Do you have a, a playground slide in your place? Because those things are real conductors. Dude, my, my b- stomach hair was standing up. I do remember going to your house <laughs> and grabbing hair. the door handle and all. And all all the hair on all my body stood up. Was that true? Yeah. I took my pants down. I go, whoa. This guy does take his pants down. He pees sitting down in my house. I do, because I don't want it's cleaner than standing up. <laughs> my bathroom is not disgusting. Yours is worse than mine. I, I go on the squatty potty, get my feet off the ground. Yeah, dude, that's the way to do it. Squatty man. pissy. Um, <laughs> squatty pissy. Missy pissy. <laughs> that's the attachment for peeing in it. Um, Do you have a Missy Pissy I can use? <laughs> they help sell you. You got the Squatty Potty, I see. You want the uh, Missy Pissy? The little pink Missy Pissy? <laughs> <laughs> but then we play Keepy Uppy with a balloon. And um, <laughs> Dude, your, your games are from like, <laughs> from like the Oregon Trail. <laughs> okay, so there's a reason. You got who's up for a game of Keepy Uppy? There's a reason we play Keepy Uppy. Like, okay. Because my wife volunteers with kids and she has to do, she has balloons. She does Keepy, keepy Uppy. Oh, yeah, so she, she has. Does. She has leftover balloons from the from the day's keepy uppy. Oh yeah, it's always a treat when she comes back with a keepy uppy balloon. <laughs> did you see the world championships from that? Yeah, I, I did, man, and I think I can compete. Dude, it, those guys were fuck. They have like a car. They have all these obstacles. Dude, it's crazy. Wait, guy, is that a the, real? Thing? The guy from Peru won. If yeah, they did them in our apartment, it'd be crazy because we did keepy uppy. We hit it to the ceiling. It stayed on the ceiling. We counted it for three minutes. What? It was just stuck to our ceiling. But then why did it this come down? This is when I was all electricity eat up. Why did it know? come down? I don't know. You know, you probably shouldn't stay there if you're if everybody's hair standing on end. <laughs> and you're fucking, don't, Jesus don't make Christ. me get into my head about what? this shit. So what happened? We got ring control, buddy. Okay. <laughs> that, they're yeah. like, hey, we'll get these fuckers out. We'll put static electricity all what over the building. What if that's what they were doing, dude? <laughs> when the people are, you know, what's the long-term... Uh, Twerm? <laughs> What's the long-term ramifications <laughs> of... Hold on, let's see. Let's keep it long, Twerm. What, uh, if, what if the balloon just never came down? Oh, dude, what if there's a rapper named Long Twerm? <laughs> <laughs> long Twerm with the big perm. Long-term uh, static electricity. I have electricity. to not laugh at my own jokes. That really infuriates the people who hate me. <laughs> static electricity <laughs> exposure. Okay. Jordan uh, with an A says, do you have to dodge the miniature pirate ships and inversion tables? To the inversion keep- table is in the master bedroom. Okay. But I, I got a new robot on the way, dude, and I can't wait to build this motherfucker. What do you mean a robot? Just like, got another uh, Gundam on the way. Ooh, dude. Small one or like one from Rocky IV? Pretty, pretty big one, dude. Like you from not, Rocky IV? <laughs> you do not want to be exposed to long-term static electricity. Uh-huh. Leads uh, to uh, oh O'Neillitis and leads, bullshititis. Leads to increased boner size. Is that true? By three Did inches. Did you put, put static electricity, big, hard boner? Yeah. <laughs> it says that it actually... These guys run balloons on their feet. It says... Oh, man. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As he thinks of a bit to say. <laughs> no. I'm saying this is not good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, do you want to know? Nope. Okay. It only happened that one time, dude. I know what they say. 
<laughs> Why didn't you put it by your butt? You fucking doorknob, dude. You better touch that doorknob. You better touch that doorknob. Touch the doorknob, you motherfucker. Hey, that's not the rule of doorknob safety. I don't play. I'll fucking kill you. You are such a spoil sport. I will fucking respect the rules. I'm going to hit you in your kidney. I will hit you in your fucking kidneys. When did you really get mad? Uh, wait, this is a b- baseball bat. <laughs> Didn't you? That's how you turn yourself back up? Unbelievable! This guy was furious at me for doing doorknob to him, and he had to touch the trophy. <laughs> you hit me like that again, and I will. I'm going to fucking hit you so hard in your gut. Uh, why are you mad? Fucking... Are you really mad? You're beating me in the arm, you piece it's of shit. It's a doorknob! <laughs> you don't even know what happened. You didn't even call safety. I, what did I do? You farted. That's not true. <laughs> Fucking. If that wasn't a Roll fart. the tape back, Aaron. Is it true your friend Jimmy invented doorknob safety? No. It was someone else. Is it true that if you do doorknob safety? Are you really mad? Do you need to hit me a couple of times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me hit you. He's got a, he's got a you get, bullseye. Hit my arm, you get a couple of hits. that thing is on your shirt, you can hit Give it right Give me a couple there. of hits. Do it. Just who, do it, man. Who should he my punch man. on your shirt? Do 11? it twice. 11 or Hopper? Or uh, don't joints. punch my chest, okay? Uh, why do you want me to hit you? So that you get over this thing, man. I wasn't trying to really hurt you, bro. I know. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't know your own power. It's an emotional abuse <sighs> this that you just done. This shit is going to make me cry, dude. You're going to make <laughs> me cry, man. Now I'm all worried I hurt my friend. <laughs> it's all right. I'll send you pictures of the bruising. Did I bruise you, you think? Ow. Come on. <laughs> Are you mad? We won't know. God damn it, O'Neal. We won't know. Maybe static electricity. Just hit me in the Dude, arm twice. Th- I literally read that the aggression is a byproduct of long-term static electricity exposure. Extreme aggression. You're in. I know that you're in my head for the bits, <laughs> and I'm still sad. I'm not in the head. Do you want me to look it up? It was Scientific <laughs> America. <laughs> That's, is that different than Scientific American? Yeah, it's, just, it's for America. All Not right. just Americans, because you could be American, but you're living overseas. Hey, did I hurt you? I didn't mean to hurt you. I was trying to do jokey punches. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm serious. Out of character now. Are you sure? <laughs> this guy's breaking the fourth wall. He's like, guys, I'm going off script here. <laughs> All right. How's Jeff going to know his next line? I don't know. <laughs> we'll pick up... We'll line pick up five. on page three. Line... But I don't know Aaron, the you hey. have you have your line produced. Aaron, line, line. anything, what? nothing. Yeah. He's not on script, dude. Hold on, I'll, I'll look it up. I on was my phone. trying to be off book today. All right, let's dig into the okay. show. Let's get the show started. We've already established. There's a. <laughs> is that you? Uh oh. Is that your fart sound? Live now? feed from Andrew's house. <laughs> oh boy. Uh-oh. Reporting live <laughs> within the walls of Andrew's there rent control buzzing. apartment. There was a buzzing all throughout our apartment. <laughs> and you weren't concerned. <laughs> I, f- I followed the buzzing. This is fun. <laughs> What, you climb into the wall? Was there I a leprechaun the at the end of it? All the way down the hallway and then all the way outside. And then one of my neighbors started following me because he was like, I knew you were. I knew something was going on in this apartment because you looked serious walking around looking at stuff. <laughs> with the guy with a notepad? All outside. And then I found out. It's our it's our new water heater. They put in a new water heater. Oh, it runs on static electricity. <laughs> they are coming That's up. That's how they with heat us. the water. It's just shaking like crazy. So all the water pipes in the house are like shaking from the electricity. No, from the water heater. Do you shaking. think this has to do with your puppet character Buzzy? <laughs> Yeah, the, the static electricity puppet. They want to change his name. What, how, did I pass my static electricity onto you in hiccup form? Yeah, you might be doing a lot of weird stuff. I don't know if I want to sit by you. Do you remember the Balky? Do you remember Balky? Yeah, I remember. Remember that, that movie he was in where he had all that static electricity? Oh, what was that called? Balky's Revenge? No, it's like, uh, <laughs> remember he was a psychic Balky's or something? Revenge. Oh, yeah. You talking about powder? No. <laughs> yeah, powder with Balky. Yeah. <laughs> powder too. <laughs> Perfect powder. <laughs> uh, Balky was originally supposed to be powder, but he uh, something happened. Sometimes the world looks powder. <laughs> Nothing. What, uh, what is the name of that movie? It's oh, from like it the up. 80s or 90s. But he played like a psychic. Remember, and there's all that static electricity at the end after he blows that building up. Uh, I don't remember this Second movie Second Sight. All. Second Sight. Dude, you watched a lot of psychic movies. You watched that Jeff Goldblum one. Vibes. Too. Vibes. Cindy Lauper. Jeff Goldblum. That thing is a... That, they were 
doing wash and drug money with that movie. <laughs> this guy allegedly. Allegedly. Four what if the producers sue you? <laughs> That'd be great. Four allegedly, time. allegedly. This is a four let's... time Emmy Award winner John Larroquette and Bronson Pinchot star as a f- private investigator and a super psychic who operate a paranormal detective agency in this wild comedy. What's it yeah. called? This sounds second, great, by the second way. Second sight. Yeah, it's it's it won an Academy Award that year. That Did it a, for what? That was his fifth. <laughs> for biggest people, actors with the most dog shit in their pants. Biggest <laughs> people, <laughs> actors with the most dog shit in their pants. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a good movie, but I loved it as a, when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Second sight, and then he has a shit where there's a, he comes out, his hair's like all, and there's electricity everywhere, and they're like, "How are you?" And he's like. Oh, good, and then he falls. Falls. Oh, I think that brought back a memory to me. Yeah, from your living room. Yeah. How are you guys? What if you woke up and the robots from time had included were there? But time <laughs> had burgers. passed. A whole bunch of time had passed, and you woke up and. Wait, am I still young looking? You're 88, and your keepsy upsy balloons on the ground. Uh-huh. No, not 20 years went by, but like an hour of time yeah. went by. And your hair's still standing. Did on I tell that. you something scary did happen with electricity? Um, Winnie was painting her nails, and it was uh, it was dear, it was when it was raining. This was a couple years ago, and uh, a big blob of uh, paint, nail polish paint, hit the carpet, and we saw it hit the carpet. Me, Tammy, and Winnie, and we were all like, "Oh, did fuck. you you saw it or you saw it? We saw it. Sow <laughs> like, a, saw like it. an animal. We saw it hit the carpet <laughs> like a pig, like female pig." <laughs> Yes, dude. Okay. We saw it hit the carpet. <laughs> Sweet and sour? <laughs> and then we were like, fuck. And I was like, go get it. Like, get a napkin now. We got to get it up right now. And then there was thunder. A thunderclap. Thunder. And then there's a brownout. There's a brownout. This is real. There's a brownout? There's a brownout. And your pain is a brownout. What is a brownout? The lights dim. That's a blackout. Look oh, they dim, dude. You made your daughter mad, and she used her powers. And when oh, we when we looked shit. again, it, the, there was no stain on the carpet at all. Yeah, because you made your daughter mad. Yeah, because all she, the <laughs> she she did a brownout in your pants, and then she and it removed leaked, it leaked <laughs> out of the carpet and pants. covered it up. There it is, dude. See, he's using static electricity right there. Look at that. That's your apartment, dude. We're looking at the poster for Second Sight the movie. Oh, maybe you've that's got what Balky I... in the middle. He's levitating using static electricity. There's a dog. Larry, there. look at Larry Cat holding a gun. Larry Cat, sassy as ever. Do you have a gun in his waistband and his hand? Looks yeah, like he has one pointed right at his dick. Yeah, and right balls. straight down. And what's the t- what's the log line? What's the tag? It says he's, he's in, in the, the e- detective biz with a psychic whiz. <laughs> it's a fucking tag. <laughs> that shit sucks. Taking a whiz. That's I a real 80s it. tag. <laughs> I love it. Who directed this beautiful piece? Joel Zwick. Oh, Joel Zwick. He does. He worked a lot. I think he still works probably. Bruce says uh, Andrew's daughter is like a young Drew Barrymore as the fire starter. M. Night Shulman? Yeah, M. Night Shyamalan. (laughs) I just finished a book that I guess I didn't realize, but M. Night Shyamalan did the movie that came out recently. Is it Knock on the Cabin Door? It it was that book. Yeah. Terrible ending in the book. Uh, Terrible. uh, Terrible ending. The movie itself was uh, not great, but uh, but Dave Bautista. Good good, uh, acting. David. David. Did he he must have played this guy Theodore was a big hulking I man. Think we no, could. he played the woman. <laughs> he played the oh. tiny woman. <laughs> oh, he must have played Sabrina. Yeah, then. he plays the little kid. Um, <laughs> so wait, you think now... Okay, so we you need think... to turn this psychic uh, <laughs> static off, dude, because people are going to go nuts. So what do you... What What is your... What do you think happened with this I think this we stuff? hopped universes again. Do you think maybe that... Maybe you're time traveling. I think you could be aliens coming down, freezing time, then doing weird stuff to you, and then... No, I don't think that's what happened. Which maybe... Here's the thing. You know how I always had this uh, idea that you were molested uh-huh. as a child? <laughs> and then <everyone laughs> Maybe you were like, molested... Actually, it was Ryan when he revealed his gym teacher was watching him. <laughs> no, that guy didn't touch me. But he wanted to, it seemed like. <laughs> it was only mental. He was just a watcher. You, a lot of people have said they thought I was molested. Yeah, so Who I else? think aliens maybe did stuff weird to you in this time. Maybe they're following you. Yeah. Did the guy who molested was my uncle. Did the guy who molested you say that he thought you were molested? <laughs> no. The, the guy that molested him goes, I'm an alien from outer space. <laughs> I, 
I talked about like a hump when I I did stand up about humping the floor when I was a kid and stuff. Everybody and, like, hump the floor. I, all this sexual <laughs> all stuff. The bodies that I did when I was the a floor. Kid, drawing pictures of my teacher naked and all this yeah. other stuff. And then this lady came up to me afterwards and she goes, "You were molested. You need to go to a therapist. <laughs> you have been molested and you're repressing the memories." That's a good audience <laughs> member because every co- she could, every comic she could find some uh, sort of mental uh, mental, mental problem that's with. True. What, who has the audacity to go up to somebody after listening to their stand up comedy routine and go? Yeah, you're, you're. And she kept talking about it the rest of the night. A good set, but that's a uh, crazy. I heard, I heard her talking to other people, going, "Yeah, th- yeah, that guy was touched when he was." A what if she goes somebody. up to like, everyone and it, goes, like, <laughs> like going around? Maybe she's like the improv. Maybe she has Tourette's and she's like going up to everyone, going, "You were molested. You were molested." So. Or she's like works for a psychiatrist trying to draw a business. That's she true. give she, you a card. Yeah, she put it under my windshield. <laughs> said, we buy junk cars and talk to guys who are molested. It's like Scientology, dude. They put those, that shit under our windshield every fucking week. Oh, they do? Do you think about going in? I'm right down the street, so I do. I think about it. What, what, dude, I see them get on the bus uh-huh. at the end of the day. I don't know where they're shipping them, but there's a large bus that comes, and then all these motherfuckers from Scientology all wearing the same shit get in that I bet it's bus. somewhere super fun. Like, yeah, I bet it yeah, is. Disneyland. Too. Like, playground for adults, beer, yeah, boobies, not, party like, time. Not like a alleged weird slave labor No, camp. no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> they use those balls, dude, that you grab oh, that have static pits? electricity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they do, that's what they do. The Goonies ball. Or the, or who, who's touching it? Laser beams. Mouth. <laughs> no, uh, Chunk runs up and says laser beams what uh so what do you i mean there has to be something to this okay so the spot disappears and you yeah. think you jump to another universe because yeah, yeah. the dimming yeah yeah and well, what universe is that just a, a shitty universal other, studios just a shitty universe that's almost the same except there's no stain on that carpet <laughs> <laughs> do you think this has to do with your father uh being behind the stain no. master carpet i don't at all. oh do you because think he, he, he may have stay master he, carpet carpet? He may have <laughs> he may have put some sort of spell on your carpet to make sure. I don't think he used psychic abilities. What if Dupont was actually <laughs> working on time travel, and you guys got sucked in? That would be crazy, but plausible. You think that's plausible? <laughs> Does this mic smell like piss? <laughs> what? What kind of question is that in the middle of a show? You smell piss? <laughs> Blue, what is wrong? Blue thinks you were sent to a non-dog shit universe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you came from a dog shit universe into this non-dog shit That's universe. That's why I keep getting turned away at 7-Eleven, so I try to buy my candy bars with dog shit. Dude, how long was this browned out? I've had it where they dim real quick and go back. That's what it was like. Okay. It flickered so and then... It was a quick... The power juice down for a second yeah they're like hey we're juice ready we're ready to jump we're ready to jump yeah do you Maybe? have a, a red out where the lights turn red for a quick second yeah and you get your period no i haven't but i i have felt like a, a spider made of light was coming to get me in this in my sleep you say before. a spider made of light yeah i used to freak out about it when i sleep on the couch what this is a common re- Dude, reoccurring that dream spider of light is they, you're, this I'm little serious. spider of light it was like a spider of light was coming like coming at me and then i go ah! <laughs> maybe it's coming up here's my concern if aliens are at because i this is i do think I that they might be now. it wasn't it wasn't an alien uh, we don't know that well, i do know because later a car drove by and we have a chandelier in our living room and it caught the light and made it look weird on the wall and so but your eyes are closed you're sleeping i'm sleeping but then, but then i then see that motion i wake up to it yeah. i have to sleep i go it's a spider of light you know and it's like to get me <laughs> andrew I'm coming to it, get it you. didn't say that, <laughs> but it did feel very menacing said, to me. In this house. House. I guarantee you, if O'Neill saw something like that, he'd make his wife tell him everything's okay for about 20 hours. <laughs> oh, I had a bad situation the other night. What and happened? She was like, I, like, because my legs fucked up, and I started flailing. I almost jumped out of bed, and oh, she shit. grabbed me, and she's like, "Don't go." Ah, uh, she's and she doesn't usually because she's scared of what might happen. So she usually calmly touches me and says and i go who who are you and she goes i'm your wife that's gotta suck so bad how many nights do you do this every night maybe like eight times a month eight times a month so yeah. once a week more twice a week so here's the thing Could be eight days in a row though you say who are you you don't believe that it's her 
No. Tell me the other who day are I you? grabbed her. I just I was touching her face. She said she woke up when I was touching her face, going, "Who are you?" <laughs> it's crazy. Tell me who are you? Dude, I tried to make out with Tammy's ass. Um, well, what? Thought that, you thought, that sounds normal. The, you thought it was her face? Asleep. She would be more concerned if you tried to make out with her face, I think. I go, I go give me that butthole. I'm going to make out with it right now. And she's like, no, you're asleep. And I was like. And she's like, no, it's the spider of lights butthole. <laughs> I would be freaked out. Uh, here's, here's my concern if aliens are actually coming down to study you. You are not the demo that they should be studying because you're not the normal guy like they might go oh it's a whole planet of ass eaters let's blow them up no they're not gonna blow me <laughs> they're up they're like that. this is against what we believe in they're studying me because my whole family has esp oh you guys are chosen uh-huh you would you, you guys watch sports you guys on are that? too you guys have it too they, you, you have, have ESP. i have espn plus hey, hey. this guy has psychic <laughs> powers too and so does danish <laughs> listen i hope they're not studying you because hey aliens if you're listening this is not the standard issue male. Why did you say male? Why wouldn't you just say human? Well, because they're probably going to study females and males. Uh, so they, I'm saying, like, they might be like, we need to get rid of this guy's. This guy's <laughs> junction in his underwear. He's just eating butt all day. <laughs> Maybe you should go up to animals. The, you should go up to the farm in, Fre- on, uh, in Fresno and see if they follow you up there. Oh, dude, can you imagine you're picking late at night? You see a, a light come down on yeah. you? And it's a, you they keep Andy. you out there real late. You've got they a headlamp. never once said, a- no spider of light has ever been like, Andy. Want a corn trap? Come up here. I did wake up my dad one time in college. <laughs> they lure you up. Mind. There's a trail up in the air of just crunch wraps. It's a crunch wrap ladder. You just bite them like. Vegan crunch wraps. <laughs> Come up here, you'll have eight inches with us. We have vegan crunch forever. I like how <laughs> I like how alien spaceships tried to lure them in instead of just abducting them. <laughs> but with these promises, they're, they're nice. Eight inches, crunch wrap. Want to see a puppy? <laughs> Don't go, Andrew. Butts Don't all day long. Oh, dude, if an alien was had a big fat ass, was like, you can eat my alien ass, dude. You, you'd get sick. You're not exposed to their germs. Maybe it. Maybe I get like yeah, something good. That's Maybe, usually yeah. what happens. Super healthy. When people get, hey, they get exposed to otherworldly germs, they just go, oh, now I'm super I'm powerful. sure they've got something to inoculate me against alien ass eating. Inoculate you out. <laughs> All right. You guys have psychic powers too, so they'd be pissed with you because the aliens would kidnap you and every night you'd, they'd wake you up and you'd be like, who are you guys? <laughs> no, I think, I think I'm being dropped back in and I'm going, who are you? They're like, oh, fuck, he's waking up. Get him back That's in That's entirely bed. possible. You are universe, you're universe spelunking in your dreams, going to different universes. Yeah, and, then, and the aliens are like, oh, shit, he's coming too. Yeah, this guy's too cool. He can ski like crazy. Let's yeah. send lays dynamite in the fucking like, psychic dynamite. <laughs> what <laughs> if real dynamite? What if the psychic. aliens come to you, Andrew, and they say we think you were molested? <laughs> <laughs> we so don't want you. <laughs> if the aliens were like, by the way, we think someone molested you. Not us. Not the aliens that are talking to you right now, but like a, you know, a relative that would or be like a so... person in preschool. They go, and we, then they just we left. Can't. That's all we want. They to drop tell you. you back. They go, hey, we want to take you to our universe where they have all these wonderful things. Where they have all the fixes. <laughs> yeah, they literally got <laughs> all the alien fixes. <laughs> I would never trust an alien to say, go back to our universe where we got all oh, the fix. Dude, I would trust him more. I'd be like, he's talking my talk. He, like, he, he's relating to me. Maybe yeah. that's what the planet is called, all the fix. Oh, that'd be great. And in Ryan's world. <laughs> and then you're, I'm like, how many fixes you got? We got so many fucking fixes. Well, f- give me an example of a fixin. An alien fixin? Yeah. Like, that would appeal to me? Yes. Uh, steak everywhere. Oh, that's a, we're gonna fix it. It's steak. You put it on top we're, of your mac. You put it on top of your baked potato. It's one of the best fixings there is. Oh, we got shrimp with all the fixings. What kind of fixing? Steak. What if your shrimp? Okay. What if you had a steak? A whole shrimp. A steak over a shrimp. What if you had steak and you had more what steak? What kind of ass alien fantasy is this? That aliens will feed you steak on top of shrimp. No. You sound like a train car hobo. What if you had steak and sprinkled on top were other pieces of steak? That's a, uh, you're not going to order steak with 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 steak toppings, steak sprinkles? Steak with steak toppings? No, I'm not. What do you want? I'll take the steak on steak. Get double the steak. This is the, this is the most basic. 
basic simpleton we've ever caught in our life. He wants steak, steak shrimp with steak sure. on top. So you're not, allowed, steak you're, you're not allowed to get steak sprinkles here. I'm sorry. Dude, people put bacon bits on their salad, but you have a whole steak. It's sprinkled on top or more cubes of delicious steak. Are you kidding me, Aaron? I'm into it. Yeah, this guy loves it. <laughs> with the stu- it has a stuffed crust cheese. Uh, well, oh, don't ruin it with that. He no, want it's this. just more steak. He beautiful wants- steak. It's just a beautiful steak with simple ingredients. <laughs> Baked potato has steak top. Has steak sprinkled on it. What the fuck? Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> give I'm me ready. a milkshake with steak. A milk <laughs> oh, A steak milkshake. Yeah, I'm in on that also. Would you really? You wouldn't like that. I would love it. You're right. I wouldn't like it. I would love it. How much steak do you think the aliens have to give you to keep you on their space? I mean, they have to give you more than steak. What else are they giving you? All right, they've got uh, a cart track. So I can go sh- sh- <laughs> with shifter carts. 125 shifter carts. What the fuck? Um, unlimited, like unlimited mi- tires and fuel. Like a mentally handicapped people has held people <laughs> hostage and they ask him what, what is the list of demands are? And he says... I, you're asking me what's my ideal? A steak with a little pieces of steak on top and a go-kart. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a go-kart track. It's a shifter cart track. I also would like it to be the size... Of like, <laughs> a, 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 <laughs> give me. I would. I would take two mi- a two miles. Two miles, dude. Two miles would be like, fucking crazy. Uh, a two mile one and what a helicopter road course. Right there. And then I would. I would want. Right, but I would like to be teleported, dropped off the top of the ski mountain every time I get to the bottom. I ski right into a teleportation device that takes me back to the top. And there's always good snow. Okay. There's always good. Pow to gnar. And Santa is real and he tells me I've been a good boy. I don't I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Jordan says not just one Honda CRX, but two. It's, uh, I would not. I want uh, give me a type R Civic, the new one. Give me the twenty twenty three. And give Bruce, me the redesign. Bruce says model. one of the f- a fixings is jalapenos. Is, uh, Ooh, is I, oh my god. Fucking jalapenos that you bite into and then they just jizz in your mouth. Jalapenoses. All right, continue. Uh, Is there a second part? Cover to that? Oh, just you know, attractive ladies who with that you have great conversations with and are like to have sex and you know all directions. <laughs> Any of these ladies pee on you? Oh, they all pee on you. That's when you have the conversation. That's so crazy. <laughs> you, most of your conversations revolve around when and where you want to get pee. I had a great conversation with this woman the other night. We spent about two hours talking about when and where she was going to pee on me. I had an excellent conversation. Like, Three hours. It took. <laughs> you're at a bar. So uh, you're drink, drinking a lot. Can you imagine walking when do you think you're going to pee? I need an oh. escort that's an excellent conversation list. <laughs> Specifically the conversation about how much she's going to pee on me, where she's going to I don't want an escort. I just want people, <laughs> fun people to talk to. Who piss on me? Yeah. Uh, we're also talking about where and when we're going to be. It's so funny to uh, me that you always like nice pussy and stuff like that, but and you don't like to be degraded, but you do like to be peed on. But that's good for everyone likes that. You as far as both parties enjoy, they're like, this is great. We're having a good time. I like, every, I like everything to be fun in the, we're having a good time in the bedroom. Yeah, but that's, we're having fun. You can have fun doing some mean role play too. You know, I just I, I don't find it necessary. You, I think you would. I think you. Um, I like it fast, fun, and erotic. I think you take it too personally. You can't separate yourself from the scene. You know. Oh no, I wouldn't give a shit. You wouldn't give that. a shit. I just <laughs> I just want to keep it. I want to keep it fun and sexy. That's fun and sexy to some people. Though. I know, you but know? not to it's me. All, That's it's all why subjective. They're mean characters in scripts. People aren't like, let's make these characters nice and make them pee on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking a script? But you could have glory all of it. <laughs> Andrew, you and they're fucking that script again? You know there's mean people in there. <laughs> this guy's the script doctor. He changes all the mean characters. and so Everyone's having fun. Everyone's having fun, pissing on each other, just having a good time. Remember on the Cosby show and Claire pissed on uh, Old Heathcliff. Is that true? You don't remember that episode? I don't remember that. They just watched the Martin Luther King Jr. speech, the I Have a Dream speech. Oh, yeah. And the, and, and the father was there. He they, also pissed They on. go upstairs and he's like, how about you take a little piss on my chest? Is that true? That <laughs> yeah. doesn't sound true. You know, I think it's, yeah, I think it's true. They cut to the bathroom 
She's uh, got her legs. She's he's in the tub. And they, she's and squatting the goes, over him. We know what he's going. I just wanted a hokey. <laughs> that would be crazy to see a piss on a sitcom. Someone pee on someone. On a yeah. Sitcom. Oh, really? That would be crazy. <laughs> The, we're breaking new ground. I think in like five years we're going to do it. Well, it was after Rock Live, the only thing that they could do to top it was to do Rock Piss. After Rock Live? Remember Ro- Rock? Rock uh, with the Fox? guy from Rudy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't he kill someone? When he was, uh, yeah, when he was a teenager. He went to prison for a, a while. Got out. Made, what are you, what are you made good of his life. What are you looking for? Charles S. Dutton. I just... Smell pee pee a little bit. What is going on? Uh, did you pee on yourself? No. All this talk of it's my psychic powers, dude. All this talk of pee made me put pee on your microphone. <laughs> what is happening? Sometimes electrical <laughs> stuff smells like pee to me. Dude, you have a lot of electricity problems. Yeah, what with is you? going on? You, we need you test. This guy hears electricity. Yeah. Remember you shocked me at uh, your house, though. Yeah, when I told you that finger? story about how I like to uh, shock you with steak his, on steak, shocked <laughs> you with his finger. Shocker! You remember that you poked my belly and it shocked me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it did have a real shock. And you went, Hoo-hoo. yeah. I didn't get no. I went, what the fuck? And that's when you had a brownout in your pants. Have <laughs> <laughs> you never heard the term brownout before? Someone yeah, said I, it's I, from Always Sunny. It's or a they dimming. Did it on Always Sunny. I don't know. It's a dimming of the oh, lights. Bra- people brown out when they uh, uh, shit their pants while they're drunk on Always Sunny. But, oh, that's what they call it. Yeah, but on uh, in real life, it just means when the lights dim. I've never heard the term. So blackout is a brownout. I just say the lights just dimmed. That's what happened. I always think it means something. This guy's not impressed. He doesn't need a new term for it. Something in the upside down is happening, and that's why it's uh, happening. I'm worried that we do all have psychic powers, and we're not being responsible. With <laughs> I think Aaron. Oh, oh big response. This guy's going to call you up and go, what did you do today with your psychic abilities? You're to fucking. Yeah, really? They're <laughs> looking into Aaron because they think this he was using psychic powers to win this trophy for his team. Is that Ooh. true, Aaron? So there's an investigation right now. Also, Aaron told me that there is a height limit that you could pitch. Here's the thing. A lot of people have video, and Aaron pitches way over the 16-foot limit. But people don't have good depth perception. The umpires. What does that mean, Aaron? Can you break down the <laughs> so bullshit? So the he's ball, saying? the ball can only when you throw it, the pitcher it only can arc up 16 feet. That's it. That's oh, and Aaron goes 32 feet. How do you feel about these allegations? He doubles the li- he's double the legal limit. <laughs> I mean, that would be insane. I think that'd be pretty obvious. <laughs> Is it? But this bar this that you're representing, it, they might sue it's you. Going straight up in the fucking air. They're like, he's like, it's 16 feet. What if he just argues it every time? No, because it's not. Did you what? measure it? What if the bar <laughs> sues you for dragging their good name down with your, uh, well, let's just say less than. What's your, what's your end goal here, dude? I, I just want to know what your end goal is with this bit. My to goal is chaos. Yeah. Because this is the guy running our soundboard right now. You think he's going he's gonna to smash the board and walk he's out? He's not going to smash the board. He's going to smash the trophy. Yeah. I like how you think that Aaron is going to get so mad about this outlandish allegation that he pitches double the legal limit. And that I'm saying that this bar is going to sue him. For his immoral behavior, you think he's going to get so... You think he has so little self-control? He is mad. He's mad right now. I hear him <laughs> typing. He's Googling lawyers. He's go- uh, Googling guns I can shoot O'Neal with. <laughs> well, you better... Hey, I got news for you. Good luck, bro. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Good luck. What are you doing, it's man? It's comedy chaos. Take it back. It's Sam Tripoli's comedy huh? chaos. <laughs> Static electricity, bro. Um, you want to look into dude, it? Dude, can you imagine, though, if somebody came in here... The authorities for the Burbank uh, <laughs> Intermural uh, Athletics Commission uh-huh. kicked in the door, took the trophy. They go, hey, Aaron, you're suspended. What if Two they, years suspension. What if they dragged him out during our oh show? God, like, get, we're like, what just go, happened? I need your bat and your glove. <laughs> now. On my <laughs> desk. <laughs> right now. Vineyard makes The baseball it. commissioner is like, Aaron, get your ass Baseball? In. It's the softball commissioner. <laughs> softball. Burbank. Uh, fucking intramural softball commission. If I find out you're still playing, 
you're out there. You're off this case. <laughs> you're off this case, Aaron. You need to turn in your bat and your glove right now. Dude, he's gonna, and your hat. He's going to fly to Detroit, Ooh. and they're gonna, he's going to be playing there. And they're like, hey, I talked to your commissioner in L.A. I ain't never had to take Tums before I met you, Aaron. Dude, this is Detroit <laughs> Hills. <laughs> Detroit Hills softball. What? He's got his own theme song. He walks out. Do you wear a hat when you play? Yeah. Cowboy hat? Do you go by the name <laughs> Axel Tinfoily? Do you have a ringer bat in your sock in case shit goes sideways on a crime scene? <laughs> he, wears, he has a beeper on. Hey, have you ever had one of those little baseball bat pens? No. I have. Yeah, those are sweet. You should have those. Oh, if we you, had the tiny, if you're into the game, you got to get The tiny little one. base bats that they used to sell at games and people started yeah. beating the fuck out of each other. For with some them. reason, I had a buddy who got all these shit bats from Louisville Slugger, uh -huh. like all the defective ones and half bats so we had like 20 half bats they weren't finished but they were great for beating the shit out of stuff <laughs> <laughs> and what would you beat the shit out of oh everything and we would we'd have them in our car so uh -huh. we would get out and threaten people with them and stuff <laughs> we had so many of these i don't know where maybe my dad got them from somebody but all these defective louisville slugger some of them were like cut off in the middle, so you just had the handle, and it was only about like that long. It was the perfect bat for beating the yeah, shit out of stuff. Yeah, like the mob uses that. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, there. Maybe my dad, <laughs> fucking one of his mob buddies. <laughs> I don't know. Vineyard makes a good point here. He says uh, Aaron doesn't pitch over sixteen feet. He says I throw over sixteen feet, and he throws lower than me. <laughs> He's trying no. to do the five nine. <laughs> Every time there's any sort of measurement, that's how diseased everyone's brain is now. Uh, He's gonna show up at the park and be like, "That's not sixteen feet." You throw over sixteen feet. I throw over sixteen feet. <laughs> <laughs> you call that sixteen feet? Now that's a sixteen feet. Uh, Dude, you think you, that you're saying he all? I almost throw sixteen feet. I'll take it. He that's says, not bad. <laughs> John Little says if you throw eighteen feet, it's gay. That is what he said. <laughs> they, they do have a marker on the uh, field that says gay. If you hit, it's pain. Yeah, it says if you 16 hit. feet, <laughs> le uh, up almost gay, 18 feet super. Where did he yeah. come up with the idea of four inches is fine for a dildo? He's a fucking doctor. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Medical. You don't think he studied this? You think it's just out of nowhere? Think, out of I don't think he studied anything. <laughs> he studied seatbelts. No, he didn't. He just had an opinion on them. Since, yes. he's, <laughs> since he's fled the state, um, he's very he's just like... Was talking to him. He's like, you "Don't tell people where I am, O'Neal." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck are you talking?" <laughs> Why would I? He acts like my number one goal in life is to expose his location at all times. I told the aliens where he is. Uh, uh oh. Oh, dude, he wouldn't talk to you if you said you had psychic. Because I could see him going, "Yeah, psychic energy. That's real. You can't fuck with that, O'Neal." It trumps everything. Rock, paper, it is real. Your wife told you you, you had say psychic. Israel. Yeah. <laughs> what do they have to do with it? There's a lot of static electricity there. <laughs> a lot of hummus electricity. <laughs> hummus electricity. That's <laughs> what so they run everything on. <laughs> They're filling their cars with hummus in Israel. <laughs> they pump it. Cheaper than gas. Guys, some guys are eating, just pouring it in their mouth. How fucking good would cars smell if they were running on hummus, dude? Probably not great. It just smelled like burnt hummus. <laughs> Sounds be <laughs> Smell better. Toasted hummus smells better than fucking... To it's not toasted. It's like burnt <laughs> Fucking disgusting! But it's just Why can't like you to be positive about anything. Burnt, burnt food. Do you like that? Nissan's coming out with the first hummus run vehicle. Oh, dude, the Nissan hummus rogue. <laughs> also, only in history. <laughs> People be mad. People be pissed. <laughs> There'd be such a shortage on hummus. Dude, what if it worked? But they were doing it, and then everyone said, "Oh, that's fucking." racist <laughs> so then they stopped making them but oh, it could have it could have ended changed, changed our reliability <laughs> on fossil fuels but people were like that's fucking racist because they sold the first cars in israel because <laughs> they knew that they could get people if they did them anywhere other than israel you could get it on the market right here's away. the problem some of the engines didn't work they found carrots and celery in the <laughs> yeah, in the chop, gas line. Chop pine nuts. Whoops. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Put in roasted garlic. Uh oh. Uh oh. You cut this, it with roasted garlic to make you go faster. Did you put red pepper hummus in here? I hate red pepper hummus. I don't. I like my hummus when I make it at home. I get the garlic. I like to cook the garlic in the oven. Then I get the chickpeas hot. You got to get them hot, fresh out of the cooker. You put them in there. Otherwise, you're gonna get lumpy hummus. 
telling you right now. It's got like simple, good ingredients. Yeah. With steak. All you need is your top. tahini. Get your paprika. <laughs> a little get your bit, olive oil. Little tiny cubes of got steak. Your, <laughs> you got your chickpeas. You put it all on steak bread. <laughs> hey, you say put another steak on top of it. Eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> I don't see how more steak could be bad. I think it's bad eventually for your arteries. It could be bad for you. More your farteries. <laughs> this guy <laughs> blew off our health with one <laughs> fucking word. With a, imagine going to the doctor saying, you've got a clog in your arteries. More like farteries. <laughs> and then you high five. <laughs> Yourself. Dude, when I was... <laughs> the doctor's like, I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> every doctor visit I went to with my knee, every time I sat there, I thought about you calling the guy fucking bro and dude or whatever. Yeah, because... And well, I just thought, God... What the fuck were you thinking? Well, he was my age, okay? Well, oh, I, I, I had a doctor that was younger than me. Was his name Dr. Broberg? And so you were just shortening his last name. Yeah, that was it. Dr. Bro. Dr. Bro. I, by the way, I just call him doctor. I don't use their oh, last name. Oh, that can be the What's Up Man of Reddit's new movie, Dr. Bro. <laughs> Dr. Bro. You just have a title. You don't have... What there's, about, no, there's no exciting premise behind What this. about Dr. Bros, a sequel to that uh, movie Bros? The, that the gay guys. Everyone loved. Uh, Rom-com. And, and this is the doctor who treats them. Yeah, like this equals. Is, <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> That's a tagline. The doctor who treats them. <laughs> who treats equals. gay guys like equals. <laughs> <laughs> the whole premise of the movie is the doctor doesn't get weirded out by gay people. That's it. He's just like, hey, hey guys. Whole premise. You guys are cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just scene after scene. It's gay guys coming in, telling him he's gay. He goes, doesn't bother me. That's cool. <laughs> guys, the guy goes, I was, uh, I was su sucking a wiener. No problem there. And people keep accusing him. You ain't gay. No, I know. I think it's cool. Yeah, he goes to trial. <laughs> people are protesting hates. outside his office going, <laughs> you hate gays. He goes, no, I think they're cool. It's a courtroom drama. <laughs> Jordan says doctors don't even speak to themselves like that. <laughs> they don't call themselves bro. Okay. Well, I had strep throat from eating ass and you, I, but you, he I wasn't alleged, thinking straight. Hey, but do, do you have a problem? Is It's okay to go, hey, doctor. No, because I talked to Doctor, how no are you? I talked to Dr. Nova about this, one of and our he's friends. he's a real doctor. <laughs> and he said that he has gotten strep throat from eating some questionable ass, too. Okay, so it does happen. <laughs> so okay. him being a doctor is nothing to him, do with it. Him having the title doctor, but no medical training, uh, trumps your actual doctor. I thought it was very suspicious that my wife went for it a sounds three like mile it's very jog. delicious. I licked her butt, all the sweat okay, off her we, butt. We know this story. Okay, honestly, if I didn't get sick from it, I'd do it every day. You know, so you don't get sick from it every time, so why not roll the dice? Because when I roll. My wife gets real mad on the third day of me being sick from eating ass, and I on can't do chores. On the third day of ass eating sickness, Andrew can't do chores. <laughs> <laughs> can't sweep the floor, can't do the dishes, doesn't clean the sink. <laughs> Lays on the couch. Uh, <laughs> drinking hot tea <laughs> and static electricity. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the, the fourth floor. day of Andrew <laughs> being sick from eating ass. <laughs> Doesn't vacuum the floors. Uh. Doesn't take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Sits on the toilet. <laughs> Takes a lot of dumps. Three Takes beat offs. <laughs> Still jerking it. <laughs> Two turtle heads. And sleeping until noon. <laughs> On the fifth, <laughs> Andrew <laughs> lays under the covers because it's cold. <laughs> plays under the covers, <laughs> plays video games, <laughs> watching old cereal commercials. Dog doesn't, shit in his pants. <laughs> doesn't put up the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sweep the house doesn't get up <laughs> and a stares car. at the water heater <laughs> 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 smells for static electricity <laughs> finds <laughs> overworked water heater <laughs> Uh, sees electric spider. 
<laughs> See the light spring spider. Itsy bitsy light spider came Crawls inside up. your brain. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want all the fixings to be at your, if the aliens came to you? I think you, you covered it. One shrimp with an entire steak on top of it with little pieces. Oh, can you imagine you, you, you're eating into a steak? You get to the bottom of the steak and there's a juicy shrimp no, that's just been laying in the meat juice. Here's oh, the presentation. Aaron. You just cut out a little hole in the steak. Aaron, where are you going, bud? Aaron looks like he's lost. Aaron, you all right, bud? He's just checking something. You seen, are you switch? Oh, hell I, yeah. I sent a video oh. over. I, I want to see. The question is, would Andrew like the lifestyle that is being suggested in this video? Okay. Or would you not? Is this Suggestive an old lady who farts in front of her husband? It is not. Okay. It's just a woman saying, hello, everybody. I fart in front of my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd like that? Raise your hand. That's your dream. That's all the fixes for you. I get that. Tammy rips huge beefers. He's like, I'm living the dream. <laughs> Muscly butt, dude. Her butt is so good. I was like, you got to get this on OnlyFans. What this guy's like, I need to share this with the world. I do. It's out Ooh, of control. That's, right. that's selfless of you. It's so good. It could be making us. It's not a, <laughs> all of us. This is not yeah, a 30, are we in on this too? This is not a thirty dollar a month ass anymore, dude. This is a this is a hundreds of dollars. This is the new ass. can collection. Hundreds of dollars. There's nobody's dude. getting hundreds of dollars on there. Yeah, there are. There are plenty of people. Hundreds of my subscription is hundreds of dollars a month. I don't knock women for feeling proud and for wanting to have you know that. I can't stop it. <laughs> what was that? This guy, Aaron said he can't stop it. He can't stop. He can't stop paying hundreds of dollars. Yeah. See that ass. His wife's just. What's she, she just doing? That squats? What's her routine? She does a ton of squats and she also does the split squats. Is this at home or is this squats. at. She does uh, the gym. The gym. The guy? The guy. The OnlyFans gym? The OnlyFans gym. I was telling her, dude, she could make a killing because she was doing workouts. Mom butt workouts where she's squatting in the <laughs> camera, dude. Workout. What if she was what if she was doing squats while Takashi Six Nine's getting the shit beat out of him at the gym? Jesus Christ, I'd, that'd be I'd blow jerk the off roof. To that about a thousand times. <laughs> you just hear, ah! I don't know what's hotter <laughs> when that guy kicks Takashi Six Nine in the face, or, or this or lady squat down doing uh, squats naked the in the says, camera. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You just hit and kick him in the ribs. Uh, that hard. kick to the face sounded so rough. Sounded awesome. Because it was a barefoot kick to the face. You got to know how to do that. And that gym locker room acoustics. Because <laughs> you got to know how to kick a guy in the face. You can't. No amateur can just <laughs> kick a guy in the face. Yo, you got a palm strike with the foot. No, you got to go with the balls of the feet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a palm strike with the foot. Or you go razor no, sharp. That'd be like here. You do Buddy, a razor sharp a toenail. Pal- the equivalent of a palm strike would be your heel. Okay, you're right. Or you do razor face. sharp toenail to the eye, blind them. Ooh. That ha- happened to uh, a trainer. Oh. A guy's toenail cut his eyeball and he went blind. He holds the, he wears goggles or like glasses when he holds the mitts because he doesn't want to get Can hit. Can you imagine that? Eye. Guy's kicking pads, misses a pad. Uh, his toenail slices his eye. Winkle John. One of uh, my friends um, was really good friends with this chick that was in the IDF and then she came over I and what? did college in America. I what? The, the Israeli Defense Force. Oh. And um, this dude is a prank. It was hiding in her um, closet in college. Yeah. And, she killed and he him. like jumped out like as a prank, you know, and then she fucking blinded him. <laughs> she t- dug both her thumbs into his eyes and blinded him immediately. Permanently or just permanently? Like, permanently. Like what? crushed his eyeballs out of his skull, dude. <laughs> what? what is this real? About? This isn't real. Well, that's what she <laughs> I like how you're like, <laughs> hey, I hate sharing <laughs> stories with you guys. It doesn't you. sound real. It doesn't it sound real, dude. Okay, well, whatever. Do you know, I, is this I, girl the mountain from Games of, Game of Thrones? <laughs> she crushed the eyeballs out of his eyes. Dude, because what? She had two years of training in the Israeli military. <laughs> she just happened to be there. They do that stuff. They say, uh, and yeah, but, uh, if anyone uh, hides in clothes, it first step you blind <laughs> by the way at some point it takes a little bit to fucking if she wouldn't at any point god like he's oh. like it's me it's me would like, she ah! think there's like a would she think there's like palestinians hiding down her locker i don't know <laughs> it wasn't a locker it sounds insane do they send her back they're like yeah american school is not for you all right <laughs> <laughs> how much money did she he, lose he was in her room you know yeah. she been in her room hiding in her closet dude but she went immediately and just dug her fucking yep. fingers in the eye. That's because they're teaching that, that Croft Maga there. That's what I thought. 
Here's the problem. Did he sue Big Crop? When I was when I was he younger, Zohan. when I was in my twenties, stories people told me when my I was in my twenties, I just accept, and then I tell them on this podcast, and you guys humiliate. Me. <laughs> but your but your childhood is now t- your adulthood on Twitter. Yeah. And whatever you hear on Twitter, you immediately you don't you just go, this is the truth. And you humil- humiliate me for that too, because we do don't the humiliate you. We're trying to teach you a lesson. Do your research. I do have a lesson. My phone locks me out of Twitter after ten minutes. But you've learned so much be- misinformation in that ten minutes. Does it spank you? Let's say you've been a bad, been been a bad boy. Sprays pee in your mouth. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Lady New dressed up like Twitter, peeing in my mouth. You're like, we need to go on Amazon, <laughs> order more pee for my phone. <laughs> Uh, the Andrew Peepy phone. Do you guys sell piss cartridges for my phone? <laughs> Wait, are we? Do you say there's a video? Yeah, are we ready for it? Yeah, let's watch let's do it. it. Let's watch this. Um, this is gonna be a proud thing that all these women have going on. I mean, I don't knock women for feeling proud and for wanting to have, you know, that girl power and holding things over him. But no, you've got to give it up, Lee. I please my man in every way, all the ways. Wake him up. All the way. He gets to nut. He leaves out the door. He's leaving empty nuts <laughs> at work. I am calling him like, come outside. It's your lunch break. It's time for you to <laughs> get your nut off. When he gets home, he's getting fed. He is getting another nut and one before bed or two if he's lucky. That's it. That's a secret. Who the fuck is this guy? guy? <laughs> at least six or seven times a day. Thing that all these women a six to seven nuts a day Dude, if strange. you're with this woman first of all so i it's like that's 49 nuts a week there's this porn star guy and he's known for a ton of nuts he goes the max he's ever done in a day is six and he was like must have been with this God. woman it was 13 or 19 for me in college i remember my girlfriend kept jerking me off over and over again and we kept but that lady it. doesn't look like she's dating a 19 year old all right. She was dating Andrew when he was 19. Dude, she, you're telling me six nuts a day. <laughs> Imagine being at work. You got to, hey, come on. Like, I don't want to go this outside. Guy's like, oh, she, she out there. Leave me alone. Day. Hey, so, security, if she comes. So this is going to. They're uh, like, why are you staying? <laughs> so this is so late at work because when I go home, I have to do two nuts tonight. <laughs> this is going to upset you guys I just you guys got nutted twice this in the morning. This is an OnlyFans so chick. Much. My, okay? ball, my balls a, are killing me. This is an OnlyFans chick. That's surprising. This is not a real podcast. This was a viral video that she used to plug her OnlyFans. Is it a joke? That oh. she set up as a as a Wait, podcast. Hey, don't include me in this. He brought it as fact. <laughs> is it a joke? <laughs> I don't think it's a joke. I think she's being serious. Okay. Oh, so you the way. So why? Wait, you're trying to discredit it. I'm discrediting <laughs> but it. Then it you're looks like, like an official. It looks like she's on a show. She wasn't on a show. She just said that. I, she, and that, she was looking off and just to nobody. Down. I didn't take that yeah. she was on a show. I just took that she was just doing like a. Yeah, like a press a, conference. A, I thought it was a press <laughs> conference. <laughs> on the, <laughs> imagine all the microphones there and they're like flashing and it's like uh, I give them six I, nuts a day. I mean, uh, question, real question, C-SPAN. Also, you know, for a uh, speaking engagement, she was dressed a little odd. She had fucking her tits were about to pop <laughs> like out a of swimsuit this swimsuit on. And it was it, it was buttoned Can up we the see middle. It again one more time, dude. <laughs> buttoned up the that. middle. I just don't do it, Aaron. Uh, Aaron, you're gonna he's gonna derail this show. Uh, like you've never this seen. is Andrew Dewitt, Washington Post. President Biden, how many nuts a day? Oh, six nuts a day. That'd be <laughs> crazy. Six to seven. If Biden was dropping <laughs> six nuts a day, I would be. And for wanting to have, you know, that girl power and yeah, so the outfit is no, is, is fastened in the middle in and way. it appears to be busted out. She's an attractive up. young lady. I guess she is, is pretending to be on a show. Door, She's pretending he's to be on a show. Em- he's leaving empty nutted. Empty nuts. I do think she does this for her boyfriend. Though. Dude, do you think corn? Dude, he's like corn stress. pop comes over and gives me six nuts a day. Dude, me, that sound, this sounds like a lot of stress. You don't think you can handle it? I wouldn't want every to day it. at this age. No. Every day, six nuts a day. Dude, even as a teenager, every I don't day. think you don't want. You don't want to try it. There's some days I'm sick. I don't feel good. Oh, I, I've Suck done that sick nut. So I only want to do three nuts, not six or seven. I've done six <laughs> nuts at 19, but and you, you're not doing it every day. I wanna, yeah, that's a that's a that's a couple times. Yeah. Uh, that's like a personal a best. Yeah, this, yeah, this that's, that's not that's, that's not an every day. Six, it's a full time job. Six, six nuts. You a day. better go to see a psychiatrist if you need six nuts a day. Well, Andrew's like, oh, I should call. One. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got problems. <laughs> I did look up chronic masturbation. Yeah, a you're a chronic that's masturbator. Why no, that's why I'm no fab, bro. 
Chronic masturbation also is a problem. I That's said, why I do no fap now. By the way, I, I heard no that fap. as crying. Don't touch the wiener. I heard that as crying masturbation and, and was like, oh, that makes that checks. <laughs> oh, you're a chronic, you're a chronic sob masturbation. I don't sob <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> I do uh, feel like I'm sometimes if I masturbate on the toilet, it feels like I'm going into another place. Is it true you look? At <laughs> Maybe the, that's where you leaped. <laughs> is it true you look at the? That's mirror? how I do my quantum leap. This guy well, goes, <laughs> that was in the first draft of quantum leap. Yeah. This guy goes. Uh, if I want to jump parallel universes, I got to take a dump while I'm jerking it. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Dude, unbelievable plot line for Doctor <laughs> Doctor Bro. He's a scientist. Is it, and it's totally easy. It's nothing to do with accepting gay guys. Now he's a fucking. He leaps. Into, you just say that he's cool with gay guys at the start of it. He cools, he's cool with gay guys. He turns off on the toilet. But he hates lesbians. And jumps into other dimensions. Other toilet dimensions. Oh, dude. <laughs> he jumps on other people's to- other people taking dumps. Oh, he jumps, get off He leaves into him. And we, get he off goes, my lap. He, he has to look and go, oh, boy, this is a bad one. <laughs> the triple white. And old man's like, get off my lap. He's like, I'm on Lincoln's lap taking a shit. No, no, he becomes the person on the toilet, like Quantum uh, and Leap. He go, and then he looks in the mirror. He goes, oh, boy. <laughs> it's <laughs> called Quantum <laughs> Duty. <laughs> No, it's called Dr. Bro. <laughs> Is it true, Andrew, you look in the mirror and you're like, when you wake up, you're getting a nut. Then you're going to take a shit. I you're going to get another nut. I'm going to tell you something. I treat my man <laughs> right. Dude, can you imagine going out? You're like, I don't, I, you're like, when I, I wake up, I'm getting myself a nut. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this guy well, eating I'm taking a shit? Fucking... I'm getting a nut. You should do that video. At lunch. <laughs> at lunch, I don't put myself at work. At lunch, I go to the bathroom, get myself a nut. At work? When I come home, I'm Is getting this two your only fan? This should be your only fans. You get, everyone gets two nuts in the morning. You get a nuts at lunch. And then, and then you get a couple more. But also, is it, so I picture this guy getting his nut at lunch, but he also has to eat. So he's just eating a sub while she's sucking his dick in the car. Yeah, probably. That's not a way to do it. You're getting he's like, mayo on her hair. He's like, they keep asking me where I'm going at work like for it's, 20 minutes. I'm not allowed to go outside for that long. This guy can't eat. What's he going to eat? Chili? <laughs> he's got to eat at his desk and work, and then he's got to go and you get You can't. That's up. not legal. That's not lunch. They'll go, hey, you already they don't ate your force sandwich. You to eat. They just force the break. The he, time he's break. gonna have to start smoking to be able to go outside periodically and bust. Oh, she nut. goes every yeah. time he goes out for a smoke. <laughs> she's fucking his dick in front of the other guy's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I do think the guys like, hey, I need to start taking some more smoke. Break. His penis is gonna get raw. Dude, you'd have a lot more smokers in that office <laughs> if this lady's out there getting <laughs> fucked and sucking your dick while you're smoking. Because Tam rubbed the skin off of my penis when we first got together. It was completely raw. <laughs> too many nuts, man. That sounds great. Why don't you use lubricant? You, it's happened to you too, dude. You too, the band? No, it happened Bono to, had it. Happened to Bono. Ryan O'Neill. The Edge. Well. The, the, the Edge had. That's why they call him the Edge. He's got like an edge. He's an edge lord. Edge like penis. No, he uh, no he edges his penis all day. It's all rubbed. <laughs> well, he, he rubs it on uh, like guitar strings. You're saying yes. The break is mandatory, but you can't eat lunch at your fucking desk. Yeah, you can, dude. No, you can't, dude. That's no. After a while, they'll go. You need to eat lunch during lunch, and you're like, I can't. I'm getting a nut. I well, can't then, eat then here. Then you got a doc- note from your doctor says you have to get sucked off by your wife. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. It's written in fucking <laughs> pencil on a napkin. If doctor he- wife says, gotta get my nut. Doctor- Dude, you, I, if, if I had an employee that's like eating all their food while they're supposed to be working and their lunch, they're getting their nut, you're out of here. What, why is up. Officer Buzzkill in here just trying to stop <laughs> Because I'm trying to run a company. Up. I'm trying to make this fucking profit. This guy's made profits. himself president of this guy's fake company. Who's I want to make Oh, stuck. so you're going to have an employee who, because he has to get a nut from that his the lady. the most confident employee. When I send him out on sales calls, he is sealing he won't. every he, deal. No, he won't go on sales calls because he's fucking eating. And he's scared that she's going to pop up on the time. sales call. And oh, you, so you want an employee that uses his lunch break to get a nut and then uses his work hours to eat and do whatever else he needs to do. Eat at your desk while you're working. Go to the bank and run errands. Is she, I mean, is she jerking, sucking, fucking all three? I think everything. I think she's got to suck it, fuck it, and jerk it. Really? And you probably. do that over four times a day? That's gay. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> over four nuts doesn't matter. I think she matter. takes him in the ass at least once a day you too, to mix She it must up. go in and talk you're, to the boss right now, and say, you're, he needs to do you're this. You're working yourself up into a sexual frenzy. <laughs> probably take it in the ass. Probably pulls out, busts it down on her back. You fucking get your dirty fantasies. I don't want to live... Your fucking fa- I don't want your fantasy. We don't want to be in the same room as your don't, fantasy. Don't bring us into Why that you guys universe. Get so mad every time I'm horny. Because I feel like you're 
You're like, uh, you want us to all join in your horny? Why can't you just let me be horny? You're like, why can't we all just sit on the couch together and be horny? I, that's what dudes do. Uh-oh. We gotta Thank, go over. Thank God. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> you want to hear how this conversation ends? Head over to patreon.com slash yeah, beach. It's going to end with this. More horny. It's for fucking DeWitt. Now it's being gross. This now. guy's been talking horny stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be Kid DeWitt make DeWitt horny now, because that is what's he going on here. With the video, he found the video. Oh, so the video. This the, guy. The videos. The, it should be Kid Jeff present a catalyst. This for guy's planting horny seeds all over the place. 